hey everyone so today i'm doing a pick a card it's just gonna be like a random message from spirit um something that <clears throat> something that spirit wants to communicate with you i've been trying to communicate with you lately so let's get right into it all right group one so right now it seems like you are struggling to find your purpose or even a way to connect to your divinity or i'm also feeling that you may want to pursue something that's very creative like music dance or art or something that has to do with public speaking um maybe you even want to be like a motivational speaker or something like that but it's something that's very creative that you want to tap into that you may even want to do for a living but for some reason either you afraid like you could be afraid to follow your dreams because you feel like maybe they are unrealistic or you feel like that you want like you lack the confidence to really go after it after it <laughs> i'm sorry y'all it's late you lack the confidence to really go after what you want to do in this lifetime and it's starting to feel heavy on you because you're starting to feel like you are wasting time. And maybe like the job that you work in or whatever you're doing for a living right now is just really not satisfying you. And it's becoming harder and harder to do. You want to do what you love to do. I feel like that you are a very sensitive person and you may not take rejection well and criticism, but what you have to know, like that's just a part of life. And I know that criticism can be, can be hard sometimes. Like sometimes I struggle with criticism as well, but when it's constructive criticism remember that it's something that can help you to succeed and become better and when it's not constructive criticism it's just somebody who's being rude disrespectful and mean for no purpose then that's just a reflection of themselves you shouldn't take it personally don't take it personally but when you have a sensitivity to criticism, sometimes you can't, you don't know the difference between the two. And that is something that you have to work on. So let me put some cards on how can you overcome that. Okay, so I'm seeing that you have a lot of healing to do, especially when it comes to your heart chakra. And you are very talented and whatever you do that has to do with the arts, you are very talented at it and you need to believe that and be confident in it. Also, I'm seeing that you are putting your efforts and attentions, attention somewhere that you really don't want it to be like. I feel like that you may be doing something because you're afraid to let it go because you're afraid to lose stability, financial stability, or you put in your all into something that doesn't make you happy. And whatever you're doing that's not making you happy is consuming too much of your time. And it's taken away from your creativity. With this page of cups, I'm feeling romantic and creative. 
if you can see my vision, let's create together. I feel like there may even... I feel like this may have to do with a love situation. Um, let me get some clarity on that. But what I do feel for sure that there's a passion brewing inside of you to do something that you love to do and you need to go ahead and go after it and do it now i'm not telling you to quit your job or anything but i'm telling you that make time for what you love to do make take the time and make time for it even if you have to sacrifice sacrifice what you can so you can work on your craft and become even better at it i feel like there may be a situation that you need to make amends with because under this page of cups i pull people are tired of my egotistical nature i'm finding it hard to be faithful and tell the truth and i think that's because well i feel that it's because your heart chakra is blocked and i it feels like a very specific situation with this page of cups um do what you have to do to make it right if you were in the wrong do what you have to do to make it right so that you can heal your heart and you could go ahead and do what you need to do to follow your dreams because right now it's feeling stagnant okay yeah so under this card right here work consumes too much of my time i had got the card i'm ready to go on new adventures date new people find a new job so whatever you're doing to make a living you're not happy with what you do and i feel like that you have an ideal of what you want to go after it's just that you have fears that talk you out of it and you also have healing to do there's a lot of pain with this three of swords there's a lot of pain that you're trying to recover from and it's kind of blocking your creativity so you need to handle it So I also pulled a card, the harder they try to force me to choose, the further they push me away. I'm feeling like this might be like, like within this, even though it's centered around your passions, um, I am feeling like a romantic situation here. Also, your energy feels very stubborn. Um, ego is the energy of the ego. So you could be listening way too much to your ego. Because right here with this card, the harder they try to force me to choose, the further they push me away. Like, I'm kind of feeling like somebody, this person that you think is trying to get you to choose like I kind of feel like it may be in your mental um this is what your ego is telling you but it's not actually the reality it's something to do with your perception Like, it may be a situation that you know that you need to apologize, but you just refuse to do it. And it's clogging up your heart chakra. Yeah, definitely with these three cards. I pulled this for the clarity of the three of swords. 
So I got, I'm struggling to set boundaries and I'm absorbing too much negative energy. And I also got, I want to tell them how deeply I feel about them. And then I also got, I want to say what's on my mind, maybe on social media. I want to be known for my intelligence and I for details. I wonder what they up to. So it's somebody that you really want to talk to. It may even be somebody that you want to create with, but you really deeply in your mental about it, you deeply in your ego about it, so you, your energy is feeling stuck and stagnant. Because I do feel like this is a situation that you're trying to move on from, but you're struggling. Like with this, even though it hurt me, even though it hurt me deeply, I'm ready to move on. Like that's what you're trying to tell yourself. But with these cards, I pull for the clarity. Um, no. And it's something about your surroundings that there's a lot of negative energy in it. Like, you need to set some boundaries and cut some people off. Like, there may be some negative influences. People you, people telling you that you're doing the right thing. But that's not it. That's not the truth. And you know this. You know Like, these people, they kind of feed your ego. They kind of tell you what they think that you want to hear. But in your heart, in your spirit, something different is going on. But I feel like you're not really communicating that aspect with people. And if you are, the people that you're communicating it with, they they just not on that level spiritually to really give you good advice on this situation um yeah this energy is feeling masculine to me too so you could be deeply in your masculine energy are you are masculine a male so back to this this creative ideal that you got or thing that you want to do but and you starting to feel it's almost like um is building up inside of you. It's building up inside. It's so much building up inside of you that's about to erupt any minute. Um, I think that is it's wise if you control the way that it erupts, because if you don't, it's gonna explode quite ugly. And I believe that you know what I'm talking about because you repressing, you really trying to push down and repress a lot, a lot, but it's building up and it start, it's about to explode. So you need to channel that energy into something productive. And I feel like you may have like a creative outlet. Like maybe it's drawing, poetry, music, something that you could channel this energy into. But it's something about your heart, your heart chakra being blocked and it's kind of like stealing your creativity. But. The universe is saying with this magician card, you have everything that you need. 
I have everything I need to get started. I know I can do this. And this I want it now card. So I'm going to get some clarity on these two cards and be right back. All right, so I'm feeling a lot. And then at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So this is something that you losing sleep over. This is something that's really stressing you out. This is something that's really got you in your feelings. Something that's really clogging, I mean clogging up your heart chakra, stealing your creativity, stealing your joy. But it's like you're doing it to yourself because I'm feeling like a lot of ego and pride here that you just refusing to let go, refusing, like you holding on to your ego. It's like spirits trying to, to trying to cause you to have an ego death and you is trying to desperately hold on to it for dear life because you you feel like your ego is kind of like your security blanket you feel like you need it in order to protect yourself so there's something that it seems like you need to make it right with this devil reverse card i need to get on i need to get myself together nowhere but up and then they should apologize to me. I'm not calling them with this Knight of Pentacles reverse. So it's like you know, because there's a lot of cards that put emphasis on an apology. It's like you know you have to apologize to somebody or make something right, but you just refuse to do it. And it's, it's putting you through. And whatever this is, you really want it. With this eight of wands, I want it now. It's like it's a really it's a hard struggle <laughs> to resist whatever this is. That's why it feels like a pressure inside of you. Um And it's like, okay, so under this, I got the clarity for I want it now. I got, I feel like my abundance is blocked. I'm feeling unlucky. And also, I need to stop procrastinating and just do it. I need new inspiration. Yeah. Whatever got you in this rut is stealing your creativity because your heart chakra is like shut down and it's like you refusing to let it open it's like the universe is trying to pry it open but it's like you refusing it you fighting it you don't want it to open you don't want it to open because you afraid of what would come out Jeez. Jeez, a uh, measles. Like, you making my cramps get worse. <laughs> I'm cramping right now, and it's like, I'm feeling it. Alright, so let's see if there's any advice from Spirit. Alright. Matter of fact, where's those other cars at? Spirit is literally, literally saying that the ball is basically in your court. What you want to manifest 
is in your reach you just have to take the steps towards it the universe is really really ready to bless you but you are hindering yourself okay let me pull some of these cards hey I, I ain't pull these cards in a minute these my index cards that i created oh my goodness all right so yeah um mm. okay you stubborn so and i feel like you're going through a spiritual transition you might be going through like a dark night of the soul or whatever like a really a dark night of the soul is like a really depressive state but it's a huge transformation going on it's like you going through a transition and when you go through these transitions they could be very hard because the universe could reveal all your shadows to you within this transition and depending on how stubborn you are is going to depend on how worse it's going to get and you are pretty stubborn. You you pretty stubborn, okay? So I think that there's somebody, a person, a love interest that you want to come towards. I got the cards. I'm obs I'm obsessed with you in a toxic way. Nobody compares to you. I am jealous of your success. I wish I could take back what I said and I want to be the only one. And what is oh in the bottom of the deck? I am unhappy in this relationship. So yeah. Um it looked like you got some work to do. I feel like you have some relationships that you need to mend. I feel like there's one dominant one that you really won't change in. But it's like you waiting for this person to come towards you. You feel like this person should come to you. You refuse to go to this person for whatever reason. Let me see. Let me see. Spirit. <laughs> Why they refuse to, uh, I caught myself standing in your shadow because I was afraid to stand in the spotlight. Why is group one afraid to go towards this person? I didn't realize how much you meant to me until I lost you. This seemed like the one that got away situation right here. This, this is what this feeling, feeling like. All right. I may have found the one I'm falling deeply in love with you. And I think that scares the shit out of you to love somebody like this. I'm afraid to stand up for what I believe in. I feel like a coward. I have plenty of options, but I only want you. Okay. So what it's seeming like, you don't want to come towards this person because you don't want to know, you don't want this person to know how deeply you feel about them because you feel like if they knew, that gave them some type of power over you. 
and it will put you at a disadvantage. So basically you playing games and you ain't doing nothing but making yourself miserable. So but I feel like you're going through a transition. The universe is forcing you th- through it. And it seems like it's going to be a rough one. Because you're stubborn and hard-headed. So, group one, that is your reading. Um... Oh, I don't feel like I really got into the advice part. Let me look at these cards. Yeah, with this hope card, it's like somebody have their hand out and they have like a ball of light into it. Actually, you got two cards like that. The hope card and the memories of love. And both of these cars, somebody got their hand out, like they coping, cupping something, whatever you call that. <laughs> they holding something in their hand, and it's light. And both the cars, they holding light in their hands. I mean, I feel like you have what you want. Like, even this person, like, you have this person. It's like, but you're not perceiving it in the right way. You're not looking at it clearly. Um, you taint it by your mental and your ego. It's like clouding your judgment. But... If you really take the time to look and see, I feel like you are very blessed in a lot of ways. Like, it's almost like you already have everything that you you want. It's just that you don't realize it yet. Like, you have the talent, but you don't see it. Uh, you have this person, but you don't see it. And you have abundance trying to come into your life, but you don't see it. So... Take time to pay attention, to pay attention and stop letting that ego, that egotistical devil that sits on your shoulder, stop listening to them so damn much and listen to your higher self because your higher self knows But you give, you give too much power to that inner devil, that inner ego. Oh, that's a, a real struggle with people. That's what I've been realizing these past few months in 2021 that like the ego man the ego is something else all right group one stay blessed hey group two this is your pick a card reading i hope that you enjoy so group two let's get straight into it i feel like that you are very in your mental that seems to be a common theme lately but it's something that is on your mind that you have went over a million times. Like you go over it again and again and again. 
because you're trying to make sense of it and this is not like a logical thing this is a spiritual thing so you may not be able to make sense with it with your mind so you have to tap into your spirit in order to figure it out and make sense of it but i feel like you vary in your mental about this and if you're not careful it could put you in a negative mind state i'm also getting a lot of fire energy here i have leo and aries um i'm not really into the part where they be like oh this person must be a leo aries or whatever but when i talk about the elements i'm just talking about what that element represents so this could be something that you're feeling very passionate about very fiery about it um or even inspired by it yeah i'm getting strong inspiration tease from this because it's something that is really activating your mind it's something that you trying to put your finger on it but you just don't you can't figure it out with your mind but you keep trying to use it you keep trying to use it and you're trying to come to some type of conclusion about it but it just keep because you went over it so many times it's starting to make you feel confused because i'm feeling like there is a disconnect from your mind and your heart like this could be a situation that your heart really wants it but your mind is messing it up because you keep trying like i'm gonna pull more cards on it to get more clarity on it but this is what i'm picking up so far i do feel like this is a situation that has to do with love um and your sense of identity your sense of identity and purpose I shuffled these cards, but the cards from group one came out, and I mean all of the cards. Like maybe it was clumped together. So let me let me uh shuffle them a little better. Cause these are the index cards I made long ago. And you know. So let's let's just but you may want to listen to group one. Group one also uh was in their mental and ego about a love situation and this one kind of feel like it's going in that direction so because it's something that you kind of fixated on that you keep trying to make sense about it in your mental but it's a spiritual thing All right, so let me pull a few cards on this and I will be back. All right, just judging by the cards that's coming out so far, this do seem like a love situation, maybe even a, a breakup or a separation or a really bad argument that you got in with somebody and you're feeling a bit resentful. Like, it seems like you're kind of mad at this person. like you keep going in your mind because you you looking for all the little minor details but there's some um gaps in your philosophy 
because you're not going to be able to figure this out with your mental you got to tap into your spirit in order to figure it out your mind is not going to do nothing for you but cause confusion and sadness okay so yeah i feel like that you may have a falling out with somebody somebody that you got into a real big argument and so it's got the five of swords and it's followed by the death card so this argument could have led to the end of the relationship but i got some clarity for the five of swords and i got the five of pentacles reversed so you felt kind of like rejected or abandoned with this situation but you starting to feel feel like you are doing better but there's like some resentment there and then after that i got the four of swords when i calm my mind i can hear my soul desires i would <laughs> just talking about that you have to calm your mind i feel like you have some anxiety about this situation like you way 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 too up in your mental trying to figure it out but your mind is just confusing you it's confusing you yeah this this um pal is really strongly related to power one so you might want to check that out because i pull a lot of the same cards i'm also noticing that there's a lot of five here the number five so yeah there was a major change or tower moment i don't have the tower card here but it feels like a tower moment it feels like one something that came to an ending and the only it feels like confusion why are you confused let me ask that why is power to confuse Why is Pal to confuse? <laughs> Look at this. I got the moon card. I'm so confused. Is this real? I'm never getting this high again. Um But jokes aside, there could be some substances, some substance involved that is making you a bit confused i'm hearing um pills why are they confused look oh my goodness it's really tied into group one um they should apologize to me i'm not calling them so yeah really i mean i pull so many other and i shuffle this shuffle it but i pull so many of the same cards that i pull for group one so yeah i mean the mind is like where the ego like to live and take over and take control of and i'm feeling like your mind is leading you astray like leading you into confusion and really bad anxiety and you may be trying to soothe the pain of it through um some type of substance but you should be careful because 
it's almost like it's pushing you deeper into confusion i got so many confusion cards here and like before i even pulled it pulled the cards i could feel like the lack of clarity um I just got this feeling of right now you feel very lost and even alone. Like there's a lot of pain here. And I feel like it's due to some type of ending to a relationship. And I do see like with the devil card and the moon card. I'm trying to escape my problems. I'm in need of something outside of myself. Like you are trying to self-soothe, but it's not in the most healthy way. And you should be very careful with that. You should be very careful with that. And whatever this ending is, you are trying to resist it and walk away from it with this Ace of Cups reverse. I can find a million reasons why I shouldn't fall in love with you, but I don't know if I can resist. So there's a lot of love in your heart towards this person, but it's like you don't want to feel it. You don't want to feel it or even acknowledge it. Because it's too painful for you. So you're just trying to get by and get through the heartache. It was something about this breakup or this argument that made you feel emasculated. Um, or less than. I got the card, when I feel emasculated, I can become a tyrant. So, it could have been a situation that this person made you feel like emasculated and like it made your shadow side come out and maybe you retaliated in a way that you feel like there's no coming back from. But you are, and I also see that you, it's kind of like a front, but sometimes you could psych yourself out and be like, I'm feeling better, I'm healing from this situation. And then when nighttime comes around, it's like, damn, I'm really hurt. <laughs> I'm really hurt about this. But you don't like to tell yourself that and when you get into that space you instantly get into your mind and trying to figure out like why do i feel like this why do like why did this happen you're trying to figure it out in your mind okay so I pulled some of my index cards. I got, I think about cheating. You are in my blood. I need more fun and passion. There is someone else and I love them. Tell them to stay out our business. This is divine and we are on perfect timing. I won't let you treat me badly. I won't to marry you you are not who you said you are i want to please you in every way i really don't like you <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of back and forth here it's a lot of back and forth like whoever this person is the way that you trying to get over them is that 
you're doing that thing where somebody like demonize the person in their head until you don't like them because you're trying not to like them because you like them so much. You like them so much that you trying to use your mental to find ways to stop liking them so much so that you can move on. And this could be somebody that you pushed away. You could have told them, like, I think about cheating on you sometimes. Like, and I, but I feel like it's because you was afraid of how deeply you was feeling for them. But whatever happened between you and this person was divine. It was meant to happen like almost exactly like this because it sparked something that will cause change. But you perceive this person as they did something to you. And the only reason why I'm kind of like not on either side, I'm not on their side and like I'm not going to validate you because what I'm seeing here is that there needs to be some accountability. There needs to be accountability here. Like, what I'm seeing in these cars is that this is somebody that you kind of pushed away. And you pushed them away due to your own toxicity. And now you're using your mental to justify this. Like, I feel almost kind of weird, like, even talking about this because I know a few people who is going through this. And I'm not trying, like, I'm just reading the cards, I swear, on everything. I'm just reading the cards or anything. I'm not trying to send no message or nothing or nothing like that. I'm not doing that. I promise I'm not doing that. But I'm just reading the cards, how they coming out. But this is something that I've been just walking and meditating. This is something that I've been channeling a lot. There's something, I think it's like a global, a global ego death. That's what it feels like. Like there's so many people right now that is going through a ego death and it's pushing them into like a dark night of the soul. And like I already went through it, but I had to go through it. You know what I'm saying? So just hold on strong. You will get through it. You will get through it. Okay? And you will get through it with all your senses. But please don't try to self-medicate. Because I am concerned with uh, the devil card clarifying the death card. Like, if you are using substances, just be very careful, especially if it's something that you can accidentally overdose on. Be very careful, very careful. Okay, just take care of yourself and try to calm your mind. Um, everybody don't meditate the same way. Like, I know that I don't, I have a very active mind 
it's hard for me to just sit and make my mind go still like that. I have to be in motion. So you could try that, but try whatever works for you. Okay? Some people meditate by exercising. It's whatever works for you. But try to calm your mind and tap into your spirit. And if you are using substances, try to pull away from that so that you can go through this experience. Because, okay, let's say that you're going through a dark night of the soul. And but every time that you about to have like a major breakthrough, you go pop a Zanny or something like that. And you get in this feeling of euphoric for a short time, for a short time. And. When you in that euphoric feeling, you could start to justify all your egotistical desires or whatever, like whatever reasons that you gave yourself to try to get out of whatever feeling and emotion that this situation had put you in, like you justifying yourself and you feeling good in the moment because you took that zanny. But when you come down off the zanny, um, I never took a zanny before, but I have seen plenty of people take it. And I seen the come the come down. Like especially like somebody that's addicted to it when they come down off of the zanny it could i seen people rage out during their come down so um just be careful about that because the universe is trying to take you through a process and it's for your betterment it's for your evolution it's for your best interest So you cannot run away from yourself. You have to stand and face it. Do not run from it. It's just going to make it worse and make it even longer. There are some people who... Um... They're not able to come into their spiritual awareness until after they finally made the decision to, like, get clean, like, go to treatment or something like that. And then during that process, that's when they come to their spiritual awareness. And spirit will bless them so much that they will lose the need to even do drugs you get what i'm saying but you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink it and that's how spirit feels you have free will so spirit is only going to take you through the process when you truly is tired and ready for it Okay, but that switch in you has already been turned on. I feel like it's been turned on in a lot of people. I could feel the intensity of whatever transit or whatever that's going on right now. There's an intensity to it, and it's causing a lot of people to go through a major transformation. And I know what it feel like because I already went through it. I went through it last year and it was bad. (laughs) It was bad. I'm telling you, like, that dark night of the soul ain't no joke. 
It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. And it's it's deeper than depression. It even feels different than like depression. You feel like you're going through like this transformation and it's painful. So I wish you the best. All right, so let me get some advice for you, advice from spirit, and I'll be back. Advice from Spirit Group 2. All upright. Yep, oh my goodness. I'm still recording. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. I'm just pulling the cards. I will be back. I meant to stop the recording. Man, when I tell y'all I'm pulling like the same cards from group one. Jeez. All right. So I do feel like you're going through an emotional loss right now. And the progress is stagnant because you are trapped in fear. But that's the fear that your mind and your ego is putting you in. And it's not even real. It's not even real. Okay? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like a dark night of the soul. Um... I got the awareness card, which I had got with group one. And I also got the stand your ground card, which I also got from group one. But in this group, there is a strong need for balance. Um, there's something, there's a habit that you are doing and it's not healthy. Um, you will have to give this habit up. It could be some type of uh, an addiction. It could be something that you're holding on to out of fear and you know you need to let it go. And hmm, I did get the triumph card. And that's a good sign. Okay, this is waiting for you once you get through this process, but you will have to get through it with a clear mind. Like if you are taking some type of substance, then you will have to, you have to stop. If it's like, I mean, it's. It's a difference from like weed or something than taking like Xanax. Um, so it really depends on what it is. It could also be like a sex addiction or um, a validation addiction or something like a need for attention. Or something like that. But it's something that you attach to. You use it to numb the pain. That you have to let go. You have to let it go. And if you. Patient with yourself. If you could just get through these. These waves. Of um, intense emotions. There will be victory on the other side. Victory in a way that your purpose, 
your purpose will be enlightened for you. Like the path to your purpose will be open. Because I feel like that's a concern with you. Um, it's like you're trying to find yourself. And you worry that you never will. But spirit is trying to put you on that path. But you have like shadow work to do. So right now, do the shadow work. Get out of your ego and get out of your mind and get into your spirit. Get in tune with your spirit. Whatever you using to numb yourself, you will have to stop doing it. Okay? Do it in a way that's healthy for you that you can handle. Like maybe you could start to slowly weed off of it. Because what I'm feeling is that it's not like a full-blown addiction. But it's something that can lead to an addiction. I feel like it's something that you started to do because you are stressed out. Are you trying to calm your mind? If you're not careful, though, it can get out of hand. Um, Spirit is also telling me that you should talk to somebody that you trust. Talk to somebody that you trust. Um, Let your guard down. You seem very guarded. Also, for, forgive this person. I feel like you're very angry at this person. And you, it's best for you. Child, I know. Because I know it's hard. <laughs> I know it's hard. But, um. You have to forgive this person. Mostly because there are some aspects of this that you need to take accountability for. And you should just do it. Take accountability for it. Let that guard down. Let that ego down. And you will be all right. You don't have to talk to this person right now. You don't have to try to make things right. In group one, that's a difference. Is Like in group one, I felt like they needed to make things right with that person for their own peace of mind. And so they could also start to heal their heart chakra because deep down in their soul, that's what they really want to make it right. But... With you, I kind of feel like some of your reasons are justified that you are upset at this person, but you also contribute to whatever this disagreement was. So you should just take accountability for that and move on. If you don't want this person in your life anymore, because it seems like you have a lot of love for them, but you angry at them. It's almost like you want to fight with them. You want to fight and tell them how you feel and try to prove your point or whatever. I'm going to pull some cards on how would that turn out if you was to confront this person. Confrontational. How would I turn out, Spirit? <laughs> I keep pulling group one cards, my goodness. So I got, I can find a million reasons why I shouldn't fall in love with you, but I don't know if I can resist. I thought I already had that card. 
Okay, maybe I'm just remember it, reading it from group one. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card. If you was to confront this person instead of like just talking to them, what would that turn out? I mean, you could try. I just think that it's not going to lead in that direction. Like, it's going to start out very confrontational. And then, like, you're going to... I don't know. I feel like it's almost something that this person is going to do. And you're just going to fall in love with them all over again. And you ain't going to be able to fight with them. And you're going to end up telling them, like... I love you. Like, I actually want us to be together. Like, I don't want to fight with you anymore. Da, 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 da. You know? But you kind of want to fight with this person because you just, you want them to care. But maybe you should because these cars are looking good. These cars are looking good except for this Ace of Cups reverse. But this person... With this, I listen more than I talk. I see what you think I don't see. I know more than I speak. I love you more than I show. That's like the energy of this person. So you might come to them confrontational and then they might return with love. And that's going to have a effect on you that you wasn't expecting. And it's just going to. Look, I got the Ten of Cups, the Empress, and the Sun. You going to try to resist this person? Let I'm not taking pictures this time, but let me tell you the order. I got the Ten of Cups first. Then I got the Ace of Cups. So this the Ten of Cups person. I mean the King of Cups. So this person know you better than they put on. And they got love for you as well. Then it's followed by the Ace of Cups reverse. I can find a million reasons why I shouldn't love you, but I don't think that I can resist. So that's you trying to come to them huffing and puffing and all mad and ill ego and whatnot. And this person going to probably say something and it's just going to make you melt. And they're going to throw you into this Ten of Cups this empress and this sun card and you just like i just want to make up i just want to i just want you to love me and i want to love you back it's like that <laughs> so um yeah i hope you enjoy your reading group two and stay blessed hey group one i mean sorry <laughs> group three this is your pick a card reading this is just like a random message from spirit what spirit wants to communicate to you or bring to your awareness so let's get right into it so group three um what i could already see is that you are a very resilient person like you don't quit you keep going um if y'all hear noise in the background my daughter she doing something and she laughing so just so y'all know i don't want y'all to think y'all hearing stuff <laughs> um yeah so but i also could tell that you've been through a lot you've been through a lot but you're very optimistic you keep going you have a lot of energy to handle a lot so that means that you came into this life to rapidly learn a lot of lessons and usually that give us a life of hardship and struggle but we have the endurance and the ability to handle it we have it to handle if you came here on that mission trust and believe when they say that god don't give you too much that you can't handle something like that <laughs> that's the truth that's the truth so 
just remember that whatever you go through, you have what it takes to handle it. You have what it takes. You also not afraid to fail. Like you keep going, you keep pushing. And like when you do fail, you just wipe yourself off and you get back up and you keep going. You're very resilient, very strong. I feel like that you may have went through something recently that shocked you. Um, It threw you off guard. You kind of stumbled a little bit, but you didn't fall, but you stumbled. And that's what you are trying to process at this moment. It could have been somebody told you something shocking or... I think that you may have found something, something that was shocking. You discover something, like some information or something like that, that really shocked you. And you taking time now to steady yourself, to get on your feet and be centered within yourself like you trying to find balance right now because whatever this was it was very shocking um and it's pushing you into a deeper awareness into a a deeper wisdom like it has something to do with connecting you to your divinity it might not look like it right now but give it some time once you heal from whatever this was yeah you will be even more powerful than you were before you knew so you had to find out you had to notice I'm feeling like this could have been something spiritual, maybe even like seeing a ghost or having some type of dream that came true or something like that. But it's something that you are still trying to get some clarity on. You still processing it like, yeah, it was shocking and it threw you off guard. Now you're trying to find clarity, um, maybe through a lot of occult knowledge, like now tarot cards, astrology, stuff like that, because you're trying to find answers. Um, It could be also the fact that you keep seeing certain signs everywhere, repeated numbers, or some type of message. Maybe you feel like spirit is trying to communicate with you and give you some type of message. So it's pretty deep. It feels very spiritual. It feels very like. I really do feel like spirit is trying to give you some type of message. So I'm going to pull some more cards on it so we could get more clarity and be right back I feel like the sign that it's like you because I feel like with this Knight of Cups I want to tell them how deeply I feel about them like maybe this is um you trying to figure out should you let somebody go or not Are you trying to figure out, is this person, like, really your soulmate? Is this person, you and this person, is supposed to be together or not? Because you feeling like something is off. Yeah, I really do feel like this is a situation where you're trying to figure out, like, 
something about a relationship or something about somebody because you feel something that's off like your intuition is kind of like screaming to you and you like i don't know if i could trust this person all right let me get clarity for this knight of cups A lot of it could really be in your mind with this, I desperately need peace of mind. Like you could be overthinking it. And you just kind of need to chill. Yeah, it's like that you kind of find, you starting to fall in love with somebody, but... Um, you get in, it's not necessarily cold feet, but you feeling like, do this person really love me back? Do this person really care about me as much as I care about them? Like, maybe you feeling like it's just too good to be true, and you getting like a lot of anxiety about it, and you may even feel like you getting warnings about it, like, Maybe you are seeing certain numbers or maybe you come across a sign that say you shouldn't trust this person. And then you get all freaked out and you don't have like no concrete reason to freak out. Like maybe the person haven't gave you any reason to doubt them, but it's like this feeling that you have inside and you kind of just like concerned that this person is trying to play you or something okay and it's really exhausting you it feels like over overthinking it feels like overthinking it's really exhausting you Yeah, I pulled a nine of cups or everything I wanted and more. It's a blessing to have you in my life. Oh, Lord. Now the, the neighbors started arguing. Jeez, I'm So Y'all heard that in the back? <laughs> and that don't got nothing to do with your relationship, okay? Now, if you, if you live what I live, it's a mother and daughter that they be going through sometimes. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. Um. Yeah, this person may be everything that you wanted. And, but you, it's like, it can't be perfect. It must be something wrong. It must be something. Because I pulled a nine of, the nine of cups under... The Eight of Wands reverse. I'm so burnt out. I need a vacation. Or you might need to slow down. Like if you're in a relationship. And it's going really good. But you having like. Intuitive pings. Like you can't really trust this person. And stuff like that. Which I'm going to tell you. Like. This. Um, like, if this is, like, something new, a fresh relationship, or something like that. Um, sometimes you just have to experience, you know, everything is not, like, concrete. This person could have good intentions, and maybe later on down the line, their intentions changes, but... The best thing to do is just experience and not worry so much because if you're getting into a new, I feel like I'm talking in circles. <laughs> if you get into a relationship and it's going really good and you start to think about all the things that could go wrong, that's due to you needing some healing. Okay. 
that's your own like insecurities doubts um maybe feelings that you carry in from old relationship fears that you bringing over into this situation and um all you need to do is experience i was telling somebody like look no matter what anybody else do like let's say they cheat on you or whatever like that you have to have faith in yourself that you can heal from it just make sure that you are doing the right thing just make sure that you is um doing what you need to do for yourself if everything is going good don't fuck it up with trying to look for something wrong okay because no matter what anybody else do to you that's just a reflection of them it don't really have anything to do with you and i know that people are very afraid to get their heart broken um that's really that's not something that we can avoid it's just not but if you look into your past experience you will see that you was able to heal from it you was able to move on it didn't kill you and it made you stronger in a lot of ways and if you feeling like that like maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship right now until you get into a space where you're not so afraid to love because it's usually the people that's afraid to love they end up being the people who hurt people the most you get what i'm saying because they always looking for something something wrong it's because they're afraid they're afraid like fear and what's the other thing fear and ego they will mess you up yeah it's really feeling like your fears is getting the best of you in this particular situation I mean, it could be like a job or something, but with this Knight of Cups, I kind of feel like it's slightly romantic. Um, I also got the Queen of Cups over here, but it could be, oh, and the Nine of Cups. But yeah, it could be like a work situation or something, but what I'm getting is that it's something that's going really good, like a little too good, and you're afraid you're afraid to let your guard down and you want clarity like you want a sure answer there is no sure answer i don't care how many card readings or whatever that you receive there is no sure answer thing changes you got to just go with the flow just trust yourself and your ability to heal from whatever all right so another thing that i'm seeing is that um you may have some people around you that is fueling fueling f-u-e-l-i-n-g your fears like maybe they telling you like yeah, girl, if I was you, I wouldn't trust him either. Yeah, girl, if I was you, I wouldn't do this. So they are installing fear into you. You need, you weigh into your mental. Get the hell about your mental and get into your spirit. What your spirit is telling you. How your spirit feels about this situation and listen to that. Because when you're talking to other people, 
damn bitch it's loud why are you so fucking loud power dog people is loud see when i did group one and two it was at night when the world was quiet and all these motherfuckers were asleep but no and i'm in the daytime now and now all these people screaming and hollering jeez <laughs> anyways um so yeah you could have like a, a hating ass friend or something like that you could have jeez oh, i'm like feeling it i don't know what's going on but people super lost and they mental like, I'm feeling, like, a lot of stress and anxiety and worries here. And then you talk to people that's reflecting that back to you. And if you are seeing some shit, like, signs of being like, oh, you shouldn't trust this person. It's because it's like the universe, you projecting that from your mental and it's manifesting back as a sign because you overthinking it. You thinking about the worst so much that it's being reflected back at you instead of just enjoying the ride, instead of just being in the moment, instead of just being in the now. And you listening to other bitter, bitter ass people. Stop listening to these people. Stop listening to them. You know what you you have to look. At the people that you're talking to. Like look at, look at the decisions that they're making in their lives. Look at how they think and perceive things. And think about do you want that for yourself? And if the answer is no. Then you probably shouldn't really take advice from them. Now you can learn something from everybody. Okay. You know there's a saying like. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Sometimes people be having, man, hold on, let me think about that for a motherfucking second. Because to be real, any motherfucker who said that to me, they was on some bullshit. Yeah, they was on some bullshit. And they was probably giving me some bullshit, bitter ass advice. So, now the baby's out. Dog. So, yeah. You see all this chatter that is going on around here? I know earlier I said this had nothing to do with you. But it was quiet. <laughs> That's all your mental chatter. All these um, distractions and stuff like that. You weigh into your mental Get the fuck up out your mental. I'm telling y'all. Child. People don't be listening to me. But I do know. Alright. So let's get some clarity for this Queen of Cups reverse. I'm struggling to set boundaries. And I'm absorbing too much negative energy. You really are. You really are. And that's not. Hold on. What else I got with negative energy is that was it i think it was this one i'm not taking care of myself i abandoned i abandoned my responsibilities because i'm not grounded i only care about what i can gain and i feel like the rug has been pulled out from under my feet i can't seem to find balance like you desperately looking for answers when you already have them like if you have tarot cards yourself you maybe keep asking the same questions over and over that's not healthy the reason is because like after the first reading and you keep doing it over and over again it's going to start to get muddied so the cars is going to start to reflect your fears and your anxiety 
instead of reflecting the truth. And you will know this because when it happens, you will feel it in your spirit. It'll be like a sting in your spirit. And that's letting you know, like, nah, this that lets you know that it's not sitting right with you. But your mind will try to rationalize it and make sense of it and make it real. Be careful of that because if you don't be careful of it, you will start to manifest your fears into your reality when that may not have been the reality in the first place. Just be in the moment. Be in the now. Stop being afraid. All right. All right. Let me get some clarity for this. Y'all making me feel passionate. Whoever picked this group. Y'all making me want to slap you and be like stop <laughs> look okay so under this queen of cups i may have found the one i'm falling deeply in love with them you falling in love with this person you scared you scared be in the now okay if this person haven't gave you no reason not to trust them then follow that follow that and enjoy the moment okay don't be listening to other people who's telling you like if i was you i wouldn't trust them da -da 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 -da. no nah. okay don't do that now or you could fuck up a blessing did this come out reverse i think it came out reverse but I um turned it around. Okay. Um, I know I have been misleading in the past, but I'm ready to show that I can be trusted. I'm ready to tell the truth. So this could be a person that had re-entered your life from the past. And you may be having a hard time to trust them because in the past they wasn't trustworthy. Or they lied. Or they something they did something that was like a red flag um so i'm gonna ask like what is the intentions of this person let me get my little index cards that i made a long time ago i want to cut on a fan it's hot What is, you know what, I ain't going to ask the person, this could be a situation, so I'm just going to be like, what is this situation that you all worry about intentions? What is the situation that you all worry about? And, ten, oof, psh, too many cards, too many cards. And they fell on the floor. Alright, so what I'm seeing is that this person or situation has good intentions and think highly of you, but there are some concerns and I think it's because they are reflecting you. They're afraid of losing you and they're also afraid to be rejected by you and they may have even felt hurt by you at some point. But they want to forgive. And they feel like they learned a lot from you. From this, you have opened me up in ways I thought I couldn't. And they do feel like this is a spiritual connection. And they want you to meet their friends and family. And they think that you are very beautiful. There is something about an addiction. It could be an addiction to you. But overall, I'm getting like good vibes. But just to clarify a little bit more, I'm going to pull some cards out of another deck. 
what is this person or situation intentions for my group three for my group three the emperor so yeah this could be like a relationship type situation i control my destiny and refuse to let anything get in my way or take what's mine i know the power of my masculine energy so this person is i'm focusing on my goals so it's like if the reason why you have having doubts and fears is because there is like a slight disconnect or maybe y'all not talking as much as y'all used to it's not because of they cheating or something like that it's just because they are focused they trying to get the bag they trying to um manifest something so I believe they owe me. I'm not quite sure what that means, but and this person is saying that they made up their mind. They know what they want and they weighed their options. So they sure about you. They sure about you and they want you to be sure about them. And I also feel like this person is in a period of trying to figure out what they want to do. Like, trying to figure out maybe what they want to do for a living. Or even ways to even take care of you or to make you happy. yeah so okay this could be a situation where oof, now i'm cold <laughs> this could be a situation where you've been talking to somebody and everything been going so good so damn good and then all of a sudden like their mood change like all of a sudden they acting a little different they seem a little distant um they not making time for you as much as they used to now i'm thinking like this person is not i feel like for one they are focused on their goals and for two it's like they could feel like the fears inside of you and it could be manifesting and as a doubt in front inside of them so it's causing them to be fearful too I don't feel like they trying to play you or manipulate you or run away from you. I feel like they are in a moment of processing, in a moment of finding clarity. Um, what I have noticed from like past relationships with men in particular, it seemed like before they become like super serious about you they seem to go through like a moment like this um like my husband did it like one time when we was dating <laughs> i cussed him out too we was dating and just out of nowhere he was just like you know what i need some space like I'm feeling different or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? What the fuck you mean you feeling different? Hmm? And he was like, I don't know. Like, I just, I need some space or whatever and stuff like that. And I gave him space begrudgingly. Like, I had an attitude because I was like, what you mean? And then, like, I don't even think it was a week it was like a few days and they hit me up and was like yeah I love you I think that you the one for me and yada 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 you know all that good stuff 
stuff like that but it had to so yeah they had to get clear about it and they did so the advice from spirit is to just be present and be in the now and enjoy the moment and don't stress it so much don't overthink it just kind of go with the flow and everything is going to be okay and you have to believe that everything is going to be all right all right so group three that is your reading i hope that you enjoyed it and stay blessed